front of the house. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> it's the front door. What's the list then? You are greeted by a wool sticker that was put in by the previous tenants. Let's close the door. That is a lovely window, which I call the nook. You can sit on it and watch traffic go by if you so wish. This is a lot of junk that needs to go to Vinny's, the first door. This is a mirror with me in it. This ooh, is dark because <laughs> the curtains are drawn, but this will be the multi-purpose and guest room. At the moment it is junk room because we do not have places to put our junk. It is also Chris's study. Chris is at work right now. He should be coming home soon. And this is the bedroom. Messy bed. We got wardrobes actually. We got them from Vinnie's, the thrift store I mentioned. And we got them for a good price. One was $80.80 80, and the other was 70 So it was pretty good actually because that was obviously just like the guest room. Didn't really have place to put clothes or things. Oh, we also have lovely stained glass doors separating the hallway from the living room. This is the living room. It has it has space for both of our lounges, which is pretty cool. And a good spot for the TV. We do not have gas heating at the moment. We don't have any gas, which is very um, inconvenient. Oh, there's more wall stickers for our enjoyment. And there obviously used to be a child that used to live here because we see numerous uh, normal stickers around. And you kind of see a little child drawing in pen right there. <laughs> so anyway, we always try to keep this door closed because we're trying to keep Bunny just in one section of the house. There she is! Hi, Bunny! <laughs> This is, ooh, caref careful, caref yeah. This is the bathroom as demonstrated by Bunny. It is small, but it is usable. It has a tiny shower. That is probably the most inconvenient thing about this new place, but otherwise everything else is good. It is me again. <laughs> Kate, being awkward for everybody. This is a linen cupboard. Which is very convenient, especially it doesn't have any glass here, so if you wanted just like a face washer. Da da da. Super easy, funny. Sniffing my leg. <laughs> this is the kitchen. This is the best part of the house. Let's get a good <laughs> overarching, overarching view of the kitchen. Yes, it is a very, very nice kitchen actually. Um, the cupboards and all that are new. They're um, we're the first people living in this house to have these cupboards, which is really, really nice. You know, the counters and the sink and everything. It's quite lovely and there's lots of storage room. Um, we also have two pantries, which is really, really convenient. <laughs> I love it. And got the fridge in there, our giant fridge that we love. Oh, and as I was saying before, it is sad because we do not have gas. Um, so we can't use the stove or the oven. So instead we got the um, this electric stove out that I've owned for ages but haven't used. Um, we also have like a convection oven just there which is very handy. So we can still cook things just yeah we can't, can't use the gas or stove at the moment. Um, this tiny little bedroom is my study. <laughs> Again, uh, please excuse some of the mess going on here, naturally, seeing as we only just moved in. Uh, we've almost lived here about a week now, so well, maybe a little longer. I've lost track of time. But yeah, this is pretty nice for my little study going on there. Laundry room, where Bunny's things are. Are you happy, Bunny? <laughs> yes, convenient little laundry going on here. Pretty nice. I'll go outside for a moment, show that off real quick. There we go. Now you stay put. Yeah, that's right. Don't want her escaping. The backyard! 
It is little, but it is nice. Uh, we'll have to take that table in at some point. I want to put that in the guest room, actually, because like I said, it's going to be like a multi-purpose room. So hopefully I'm going to be like doing my arts and, you know, making things for the wedding, being artsy-fartsy, you know. Oh, I'm sad. This, um, this doesn't work. It's a hill's hoist uh, clothesline. And um, you can make it fan out like a normal hill's hoist, but um, you can't make it go up and down. So if I were to have it out, we'd have to be constantly ducking um, underneath it. Um, and Chris and I actually use this backyard quite a lot just to, we don't really use the front door much because very convenient um, where we live is really close to work because we both work at the complex. You know, Chris works at Telstra and I work at Cole's Supermarkets. And so um, it's only like five, 10 minutes away. Super convenient. So yeah, we use this backyard all the time and go out into the lane and walk to work. It's pretty cool. This is also a peach tree, but we missed out on all the peaches. Sad. <laughs> and yeah, I think I showed everything off. Yeah, there we go. So um, that was the tour. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, might make an update video in the future when everything's all organized and has a place. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.